Hello from San Antonio. I'm Jeff Shore, and this is my creative project for math exploration at Prescott College. I'm here to talk about the Fibonacci formula and how it relates to nature, specifically trees. Now you may wonder, how does math have anything to do with the trees? In order to begin that explanation, we first uh, must know what the Fibonacci formula is. I'll begin providing a little history of how the formula came about. The sequence of for the Fibonacci formula first surfaced in India, more than specifically in the meters of Sanskrit poetry as early as 200 AD. It wasn't until 1202 when Fibonacci wrote Liber Abbasi that the West was introduced to this sequence. Now here's a fun fact. Fabianasi's real name is actually Leonardo of Piazza. His nickname, however, was Fabianasi. The Fabianasi formula is basically a sequence of patterns of numbers. Take a look at the sequence that I'm providing here on the board. I'm going to cover up the bottom here. Um, virtually using the sequence, 0 plus 1 equals 1. 1 plus 2 equals 3, 3 plus, or 2 plus 3 equals 5, 3 plus 5 equals 8, 8 plus 13 equals 21, and 13 plus 21 equals 34. Now what I've done is I've written that out in a basic explanation so you can see as far as a formula format, and that's 0 plus 1 equals 1, 1 plus 1 equals 2, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 2 plus 3 equals 5, and 3 plus 5 equals 8. Okay. Now that we have seen the sequence, we're ready to see the Fibonacci formula. Okay. The Fibonacci formula, in the setup of the values, virtually what I've done is n equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the fn equals 0, 1, plus 1 equals 2, 2 plus 3 equals 5, 3 plus 5 equals 8, 8 plus 13 equals 21, and then so on and so forth. Now what I've done is I put that into a mathematical equation. And in this mathematical equation, what it is, is F8 equals F8 minus 1 plus F8 minus 2 equals F7 plus F6 equals 8 plus 5 equals 13. And now down here we have F11 equals 11 minus 1 plus F11 minus 2 equals F10 plus F9 equals 34 plus 21 equaling 55. And now I'm sure you are wondering what the Fibonacci formula has to do with trees. Well, we've already seen the Fibonacci formula is a pattern. If you spend enough time in nature, you'll see patterns all around you, including in trees. Let's look at the drawing that I've done and closely see the Fibonacci pattern unlocking. And what I've done is I've drawn a simple tree with a pattern, and I've just drew these lines right here, breaking the tree down. And from its base root, we have 1 plus 1 equals 2, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 2 plus 3 equals 5, 3 plus 5 equals 8, and 5 plus 8 equals 13. And it can go and continue so on and so forth as the tree increases and the branches begin to sprout out into other things or out in different directions and other branches. Now, to be sure, you might be wondering what I'm doing at this random part here in San Antonio. It's because I wanted to show you more than just a drawing of a tree, but to show you the real life application of the pattern. And what it is, is if we begin right here at the base of the tree, similar to the, de the design and pattern that I drew, I drew a moment ago, is we have broken it down into sections. Here's one, here's two. Now here we go, it breaks down into sections of twos. So what we have is one plus one equals two. And then as we move up to the progression of the tree, you can see it breaks off into twos. We have two branches here again, two branches here. And then as we continue to go up the tree, you know, we have another two branches here. And then we have another formation of two branches. And as you continue to go up the tree using the Fibonacci formula, you have two, two, 
and you over here as well as you have two, two, and two. So I hope I've given you a little bit of insight as far as what the Fibonacci formula is so that you can see it in your everyday nature when you're out on your walks or trail walks or other things in life. And here's the big thing. As well as the Fibonacci formula, it works with trees. It works in everything with nature that has that breaks off. We can see it in the roots. We can see it in plants. We can see it in the leaves also that comes off of trees as well as plants. And in many of the things that we see on our everyday walks and everyday life within nature. So I encourage you to go out and see what nature has for you. This is Jeff Shore, student at Prescott College, and this is our math exploration project for Prescott College.